Hey, Commander. Don't know if you were expecting him, but Darth Rivix is here. Rivix? He's here, now? Here and dying to meet with you. All alone. He was very insistent about that part. I made him wait in the operations room, said you'd meet him when you had the chance. But he said it couldn't wait. All right. I'll go there immediately. Commander, it's a pleasure to see you again. I must say how thoroughly I enjoy my visits, seeing operations run so smoothly under your capable leadership. Hilo said you wanted to see me immediately. I did say that, didn't I? My sincerest apologies for the theatrics. I have news to share that could not wait for a formal invitation. Of course I'm sure! I'd know that maniac anywhere! I could feel his presence before he even set foot on Dantooine. The longer you sit around, questioning what I saw, the more time he has to get away with whatever he's doing in those ruins. Our intelligence officers have truly outdone themselves this time. What was that? A secret meeting with Jedi leadership. Or what's left of them. This woman, Aaron Lanier, claims she saw Darth Malgus enter the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. He was missing for so long, but it seems our errant Dark Lord has finally decided to show his face. Our Empress is displeased. What do you mean, Malgus isn't acting under Sina's orders? Whatever fools errant Malgus is chasing on Dantooine, Empress Asina certainly did not sanction it and any attempt to recall Malgus has utterly failed. Given the circumstances, the Imperial Reclamation Service proposed sending an entire excavation unit to search the ruins and apprehend Malgus. But the Empress does not want Malgus's newfound freedom to become widespread knowledge. So, I suggested a more covert approach. And you need me for this covert approach? Precisely, my friend. A small task force, you, me, and a very powerful ally, would be more than capable of investigating what Malgus was up to in those Jedi ruins. Are you going to tell me who this powerful ally is? Even better, I'll show you. Darth Krovos, your timing is as impeccable as ever. I apologize that I couldn't be here sooner, but our forces are facing heavy resistance in the Tapani sector. I had to implement some creative measures to bolster them. I trust you've been briefed on the situation. We should depart before our window of opportunity closes. You're going to Dantooine with us? I'm sure I don't need to explain how dire the consequences would be if Darth Malgus has somehow gone rogue again. The severity of this mission requires my direct involvement. I'm happy to have an extra pair of capable hands. And I'm happy to provide them. We've waited long enough. If we don't get to Dantooine quickly, we'll lose Malgus's trail. I'll meet you both at the shuttle. Darth Krovis? Isn't the hand meant to be working outside the Dark Council's influence? Krovos is not like the others on the Council. She is steadfast in her commitment to strengthening the Empire, not to mention her considerable combat skills. At any rate, we don't have the luxury of being choosy with our allies. Unless we seize this opportunity now, we undoubtedly risk Republic interference later. Our shuttle is waiting. After you. You go ahead. I need to tell my people where I'm going. I understand. I do, however, humbly ask that you keep things subtle. Remember, we don't want this news to spread too widely. Well, hello there. And to what do I owe the pleasure of this little surprise? There's something you need to know. I'm all ears. Darth Malgus was on Dantooine. He might still be. The Jedi know, and now the Empire knows. I'm accompanying two high-ranking Sith to follow Malgus's trail. No wonder you reached out, with news like that. 
Let me handle it from here. You do what you do best. Keep an eye on those Sith, and I'll let Master Saldera know what's going on. Thank you, Commander. We're nearing our destination. A few more minutes, and we'll be planetside on Dantooine. How are you planning to get us down without attracting the Republic's attention? Ah, you must remember, Dantooine isn't exactly a bustling metropolis world. Their government lacks organization, and when it comes to officially sanctioned travel, let's just say it won't be difficult for a small shuttle like ours to sneak in unnoticed. It is imperative that we do not draw attention to ourselves during this mission, Rivix. I hope you remember that. Of course I do. We should have no trouble reaching the Enclave Ruins. No trouble at all. Weren't you saying something about no trouble? Blast! Our window was small, but I was sure we would be the first to arrive. It takes the Republic military ages to agree on anything, let alone act. I can't believe they've mobilized such a show of force so quickly. Maybe if the Empire focused less on backstabbing and conspiracy, we could mobilize just as quickly. Regardless of where the blame lies, senseless finger-pointing doesn't get us closer to Malgus. We need to think of a new plan of attack. Well, since walking right past those Republic soldiers and possibly scaring off our quarry is clearly out of the question, might I suggest an alternate route? Years ago, many people here scavenged what they could from the Enclave ruins to make a living. Their leaders didn't exactly approve, so they built access tunnels in secret. We'll undoubtedly meet resistance from patrols, but if we find one, our chances of infiltrating the ruins would be much higher than a direct assault. And hopefully, we'll retain at least some of this mission's secrecy. What other choice do we have? None, I'm afraid. Then let's go, before the Republic sends more reinforcements. Blazes did these creatures get here? What was that thing? I've never seen anything like it. A growl. They're not uncommon, but seeing one underground and at this size, it's completely out of the ordinary. Not to mention its little friends. Oh, at last. At last! Someone has finally come to help me! Everyone lower your weapons. It's just a droid. Yes, uh, yes, I am just a droid, with no intention of harming you. You have my word. 
I am a member of the Imperial Medical Corps designation TL-30. What are you doing down here, droid? Darth Malgus brought me here, ma'am. Did you say Darth Malgus? Yes, I did. I was tasked with tending to Lord Malgus after the Battle of the Meridian Complex. Though his wounds were severe, he escaped our medical facility. I was his hostage, but he could not have survived on his own. I kept him alive while he considered his next move. Then he brought me here. Where is Malgus now? I... I do not know, ma'am. I followed Lord Malgus deep into these tunnels, but we reached a crossroads, and he continued on from there, alone. He did not return. I had no choice but to find my own way out of these tunnels, but that great beast attacked me. And you made short work of it. Please, help me escape this horrible place. We are not taking her with us. She's barely functional. She'll slow us down. No, I don't want to go with you. I want to get out of here. All I need is a quick repair. Just enough to get me moving again. With the tunnels clear, I can manage on my own. I'll help you. But you must help me find Darth Malgus. Oh, thank you. Of course, whatever you need. It is yours. Much better. Here, the data in my memory banks can show you where Darth Malgus went. Until he abandoned me. It will show you the path he took at the crossroads. I can give you a copy. Provost Rivix, scout ahead. Make sure there's nothing waiting for us. I'll meet you two when I've finished transferring the data. Noted. Be quick. I believe that's everything. Now I need you to transmit everything in your memory banks to Lana Benico on Odessan. Tell her it's for our friend Jonas. And don't speak of this to anyone. Anything you say. I could not turn down any request from my savior. All finished then? I have a record of Malgus's every move in this place. We just have to figure out where he went after he left the droid. Excellent. A new piece of the puzzle. I would be remiss if I did not ask. But what if Malgus is still here? What do you plan to do with him? Malgus still has his uses. We'll bring him back to the Empire, if we can. I am heartened by how clearly you see the situation. Whatever Malgus is going through, I am sure it is only temporary. I know he still desires to serve the Empire. The strength and power he offers are mighty weapons. It would be foolish to throw them away over an error in judgment. What would you do, Lord Rivix, were you in my place? My duty is to support the Hand, which means supporting you. Whatever your opinion is, I defer to it. Unsurprising. But we've idled long enough. Let's continue. Hold on, someone's here. Stop right there! Don't take another step! You're outnumbered, and we know how to take down Sith. Put down your weapons and surrender, imps, unless you want to leave here in pieces. This doesn't have to get bloody. Drop your weapons. Let us pass and forget you saw us. This is the end of the line for you. We won't let any imps get in the way of our mission here. For the Republic! Your meddling ends here, imps! There's more where that came from! Try and run! Come here! Is that all you've got? That's enough of you! Try and run!
Where do these tunnels lead? Tell us. Minar, wait, I know you. Where's Captain Minar? Let me speak to him now. I'll let him go, but only if you tell me what you found here. No! Master Norris! Don't tell them anything! Please! I would never. I'm sorry, Captain. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Enough, Rivix. Let him go. I told you to stop. My sincerest apologies. I don't know what happened. He must have been too weak to withstand anything further. Don't ever go against my orders again. Do you understand? I will do my very best, I assure you. Let's figure out our next move. The droid said something about Malgus abandoning her at a crossroads. Yes, she did. Can you check her recordings? This is it. This is the place. So we follow the same path as Malgus took in this recording. What if Malgus knows he's being followed? What if he manipulated this recording? A valid concern. But unfortunately, unless we want to return empty-handed, our only option is to follow where this recording leads. Rivix is right. We've come this far. Then we'll keep going. Just keep your guard up. This is the only way forward. Whoever built this door clearly didn't want anyone snooping around in here. But someone got in anyway. Recently, from the look of these lightsaber marks. Then we should see what's inside. Turn around. Don't try to escape. Or what? You'll kill me like you killed my friends? I can feel the anger radiating from her. And look what she did to her own people. Well done, Master Jedi. Well done indeed. How dare you? I didn't do this. I found them like this. I guess Darth Malgus couldn't show any mercy to the rest of my team. Just like you. How do you know this was Malgus? Don't play games with me. You're Imperials, you know this was Malgus. Tell me what he was doing here, and tell me where the relic is. I know he took it! We don't know any more than you do, Jedi. Don't! Don't try to manipulate me. You Sith constantly outdoing yourselves when it comes to deceit. I've seen so many dark things, and it still shocks me! Wait, something is wrong. Ignore the Jedi's whimpering. We should leave now. You're not going anywhere. A transparent ploy like that won't stop me. I've faced the worst the Empire has to offer, and I return to the light. Once you're out of the way, I'll track down Malgus myself. If Lord Crovo says we need to leave, then we're getting out of here. I'll take my chances. <laughs> I'll make sure of it!
gonna wish you never came here! Did you think this would be easy? True darkness. This is nothing. This is it. After everything I've overcome, I offered you a way out. Why didn't you take it? Considering who you work for, can you blame me for being skeptical? Just get on with it. Stop! Something is happening! Of all the people I expected to follow me into these ruins, you, Lord Krovos, were not one of them. What's happening? How are you doing this? Everything you see is your own doing. The bonds we forged in battle bind us together. They allow you to see this echo of my presence. This place, all the violence and betrayal it has seen disturbs the Force. Movement through these ruins is imprinted, especially if it's born of pain and anger. Those with enough power can sense it. You may have deceived your two allies during this foolish expedition, but I know you have felt my presence all along. Don't deny it. I wasn't going to. I want to bring you back to the Empire. You are a pillar of strength among the Sith, and we will need you to defeat the Republic once and for all. Perhaps. But you should know, I have removed the final tool that bound me to the Empress's will. I have done what so many Sith pretend to do but never really achieve. I have broken my chains. I will never again have a master. I will never let another rule over me. I will never return to the Empire. I don't think you have a choice. The entire galaxy will hunt you down. Take your chances with us. Do you think it's a coincidence that both the Republic and the Empire sent agents to Dantooine? Think, Krovos. Use that strategic mind of yours. I knew none of you could resist running to the Alliance Commander for help. And I knew she could not resist coming after me. Even if it meant walking right into my trap. It does not please me to see you suffer the same fate as these fools. If only you hadn't followed them here, you could have been a capable ally in what's to come. Krovos. Krovos, what's happening? Go, go! Malga set a trap! What? How do you kn Go, both of you. Yes, Empress. It seems our worst fears have come true. Forgive the dramatics. There is no need to apologize. 
I understand full well the seriousness of what's happened. Indeed, my lord. Regretfully, Darth Krovos has confirmed our suspicions. Malgus has successfully removed all of the mechanisms we use to ensure his compliance. Most unfortunate. What are our next steps? Did you locate the tome he stole from the library on Osus? We haven't located it, my lord. And what's worse, it seems Malgus added another relic to his collection. If the containment case we found on Dantooine is any indication. How could this have happened? I trust that you comprehend the difficulty of the path before you, Lord Rivix. I do hope you are up to the task. I believe I am, Empress Asina. I shall update you again soon. For the Empire. Rivix? Oh, my apologies. The briefing doesn't start for a few more minutes. I thought... Did you start without me? I heard you say something about Dantooine. My sincerest apologies, but Empress Asina was growing rather impatient for an update. What were you talking about? Something about a missing tome. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Yes. When the Empire attacked the Jedi colony on Osus, we compiled an extensive catalogue of the books found in the ancient library. After the assault on the colony, when the dust had settled, we discovered that one of the tomes was missing. Why do you assume Malgus took it? Anyone could have. I wasn't sure at first, but he was alone in that library for some time, and everyone else we suspected was searched. Going forward, I'll do my best to inform you of important information the second I know it. The stakes are too high now to justify keeping you in the dark. What was this book he stole? And do you have any idea what he took from the Dantooine Enclave? I don't know exactly what Malgus took from Osus. There was so much chaos, and the library was already in such disarray when the Empire arrived. As for what was being kept down in the Enclave ruins, that is anyone's guess. So, what's the Hand's next move? I'll arrange for agents to identify the relics that Malgus chose to take. They are our only keys to unlocking his plans. I'll also recommend that Darth Krovos deploy soldiers to investigate any Sith and Jedi ruins that Malgus might potentially target. For as little as we have to work with, that sounds like an excellent plan, Rivix. I do my best. We may have come away empty-handed this time, but you will be the first to know when I discover Malgus's next move, and the Hand of the Empire will be ready for him. Good, you're here. We have much to discuss. After his visit to Dantooine, I know we're all uneasy about what Darth Malgus is planning. Darth Rivix assures me that the Hand of the Empire is hard at work searching for clues about Malgus's objectives. Unfortunately, nothing has yet turned up. Not the update I was hoping for, but not surprising. What else do we have? I think this is something you'll find intriguing. Okay, recording started. Date stamped. Encryption is working. There's a Shea Visla. I've got an update on my pursuit of Field Marshal Hedda Cole, responsible for attacking the Spirit of Vengeance too. I want to be clear. My only goal is finding this traitor. And I need the Alliance's help following up. I'm sure Hedda's group, the Hidden Chain, has established a permanent base. Location unknown. I need to know who is supplying her and how. I've included my findings in this transmission. Do this, and I owe you. At my end, I'm running down a slippery recruiter with links to Hedda. I have a local Dermanda and Meksha to thank for the lead. Tell the commander that Indigo is still a grubby Minoc. All right, I'm landing in a few minutes and need to go dark. This recruiter has led me on a real chase. I won't let him escape again. Shay out. We've done some preliminary work with Shay's intel. 
But we need an asset on the ground. The closed nature of the Mandalorians makes gathering information challenging. Have we got someone in mind? A Carvey Spa, Mandalorian bounty hunter. No affiliation with other clans. In fact, no strong ties to any major faction. But a reputation for getting results. Thoughts? You wouldn't even mention her if you didn't think she was capable. That's enough for me. Glad to hear it. I'll make the arrangements. Keep me updated. What else is on the agenda? That's all for now, Commander. I'll notify you if anything changes. Now that all the important people are here, let's get down to business. Akavi, what have you got? Based on intelligence provided by Mandalore, I was able to narrow my search and scout potential suppliers to Hedda Cole and her group, the Hidden Chain. Hedda's targets, outer rim colonies and transports on the Rim of Trade route, point to powerful trade houses shutting down their competition with her guns. Those will likely be our suppliers. I have advised Jakaya Ordo, and he is marshalling Mandalore's fleet as a precaution. You'll find everything I uncovered in my report. Okay, we'll get our analysts on that. Good work. Is there anything else? We have a message from the Imperial Reclamation Service. An associate of Darth Rivix may have found a lead on the relic Malgus stole on Dantooine. Colonel Bardengola, at your service. I've been asked to relay a high-priority message concerning records my team discovered during a recent assignment, which I'm also forwarding to you. These files are old. Very old. They almost went straight to central processing, but Darth Rivix has insisted that I personally comb through any new finds. I uncovered a cargo manifest that mentions a containment apparatus exactly like the one you described in your Dantooine Enclave report. Regrettably, many of the manifest details are illegible. We couldn't identify the relic Malgus stole, but we did learn that it belonged to a Sith named Darth Null. It isn't much, but I do hope this information can be of use. If the files from Colonel Gola are any indication, our allies in the Empire believe this lead could be the key to locating Darth Malgus. Darth Rivix reports that he's identified one of Null's holdings. Darth Krovos has deployed her own forces to investigate it. We have powerful soldiers in our ranks who can bolster Darth Krovos's forces. I'm sure any assistance we provide will be greatly appreciated. But I believe our time would be best spent following up on this. What am I seeing? This is where Darth Null's relic was first discovered. There are not many who know this planet. It is in a dark region of wild space. A dangerous, untamed world. If your intention is to investigate the source of this relic, you must send someone strong to this place. Someone who knows this region of the galaxy. I suggest Arkin. I won't speak for my colleagues in the Empire, but I can't imagine they will be thrilled at the idea of the former Eternal Emperor handling this. A valid concern, but ultimately the decision is yours, Commander. We should do everything in our power to keep our relationship with the Empire secure. If sending Arkan has the potential to cause trouble, then someone else should go. If that is your wish, there are members of the Fourth Enclave ready to serve. I will prepare them for this mission instead. That would be appreciated. Then it sounds like we all have our marching orders. Until next time. That's correct. I understand you recommended me for this mission. I appreciate the chance to help with Mandalore's hunt. We needed someone on the ground familiar with Mandalorian ways. You were right to send me. Those who supply had a coal are paranoid and prone to disappear. It is only because I am Mandalorian that I got as close as I did. The suppliers are very much afraid of Hedda's wrath should they disappoint her, or worse, reveal any of her secrets. She's being very careful. 
Her ruthless reputation and a seemingly endless supply of credits from her raids means she can keep her secrets. Her suspected suppliers in my report are scattered across the galaxy. We find them, we hurt her. This sounds promising. You have given us the advantage. Praise isn't necessary. It was my duty. Until Mandalore herself calls on me to strike her enemies down, I will continue this work. But I should get back to helping your analyst go through my report. Find her weakness, Akave. That is the only thing that matters. <laughs>